Hi everyone. Golang and Rust are amazing programming languages that are growing like crazy. So, which one should you learn? Let's take a look. Let's start off with the advantages of using Golang. One of the best reasons to learn Go is the growth that it's been receiving. Year after year this has been one of the most popular programming languages to learn. Companies like Google, Uber, Lyft and Twitch all use Go for a variety of purposes. Without a doubt. If you're planning on learning Go you are definitely going to be in good company. Next up we have the salaries associated with Go. I made an article not too long ago that discussed the programming languages with the highest salaries. Go was number one. If you want to read the rest of that article check out the link below. Finally, one of the biggest advantages of Go is that it has built-in garbage collection. This is one of the biggest reasons people use Go. If you want to learn more about this specific feature about Go, be sure to check out the link below which goes into a bit more detail about this specific feature. Now, let's take a look at some advantages for Rust. First up, another awesome advantage of using Rust is its borrow checker. This essentially allows you to limit the amount of data issues you may have when compiling your project. Why is this important? This prevents from errors coming up in your project, leading to a more stable project. If you want to learn more about this, check out the link below. Another massive advantage for Rust is its flexibility. There are tons of projects you can build out with this language, including software, game engines, file systems, operating systems and even some data analysis projects. If you're trying to learn an upcoming language, this is a great choice just because of its flexibility. If you want to learn more about this, check out the link below. Next up, one of the biggest advantages for Rust is its ability of storing data. This helps with memory management during compile time. There have been many reports coming out stating the issues with memory management for several languages, including Python. So the fact that this language has this capability is very impressive. If you want to learn more about this, check out the link below. In my opinion, it makes the most sense to learn both of these languages. However, each of these languages have their advantages and disadvantages. Which one do you plan on learning? I would love to hear your thoughts about this. If you're new to your programming journey, feel free to check out some of the books that I've written. My goal is to teach you how to code without you getting bored. Thanks so much for your support.